Hey everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And for today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new DC Comics Multiverse 6 inch scale Justice League Batmobile from Mattel. Now, this is different from the one that I looked at last week, the Ultimate Batmobile. Primarily, this one does not have any electronics and such. This is actually listed as a multiverse toy, and you can see it comes packaged in a box. It's very similar to the multiverse figures with the red and black highlights. Up at the top here, you've got the DC Comics Multiverse logo. The vehicle is clearly displayed here in the window box. On the side, you have an image of the Batmobile. On the other side, it just says Justice League, the Justice League movie logo. And then on the back, it shows the Batmobile and lists all the features that come with this one. And then also shows you the other Justice League multiverse movie figures that have been released. Now, besides showing you this multiverse version of the Batmobile, I'm also gonna be going over the differences between the multiverse version and this ultimate version. Now, if you did not check out my review last week of the ultimate version, I highly recommend that you go check that out. It'll give you a much more in-depth look at that one. But the main differences between these two right off the bat is this one, this Ultimate one cost $250 and the Multiverse one cost about $60. You can also see that this Ultimate version comes in much larger packaging than the Multiverse version. Okay, now the measurements on the packaging for this Multiverse version, lengthwise this thing is about just under 22 inches and then height wise this is just about seven and a half inches and then the diameter on this one is about 13 inches and this one is much lighter than the ultimate version as well probably because it doesn't have all the electronics weighing it down all right so let's get this open and take a look at what's inside Okay, so here's a look at the Multiverse Batmobile outside of the packaging. Now, the first thing I want to know uh, a difference between this version and the Ultimate version is there is no action figure included with this one. The Ultimate version does come with a Batman figure. And I definitely want to note that because if you go to like Amazon to order this, it'll show you a picture of the Batmobile with a Batman figure. And that's basically because they're using the images of the Ultimate version for this toy as well. Probably because Mattel didn't bother to send them actual images of this version. But I just want you to know that there is no action figure included with this one. Now other differences is things like you've got plastic wheels on this one where on the Ultimate version you've got rubber treads. It is a little bit smaller and I'll give you an actual comparison here in just a moment but it is a bit smaller again probably because it doesn't have all the electronics in it so they were able to shrink it down a little bit. I would say this this one actually is probably a little more in scale with the figures which again I'll give you a comparison of in just a moment than the ultimate version. The ultimate version can look a little big next to the figures because again it, it's got all the electronics in it and everything. Now as far as assembly goes with this one the only thing you have to do once you get it out of the packaging is you've got to attach these little wing pieces and on the ultimate version these are already attached but with this one you've got these little holes here on the side and so what you want to do is you just uh, plug these in and these have little like missiles painted on them and they slide right in and you do it for each side you want to make sure the missiles are pointing towards the front of the vehicle and that's it so that's the only assembly that is required with this one and you basically don't have to do anything else so as I mentioned before, this is also much lighter than the Ultimate version, again because of the lack of electronics I'm sure. It has the weapons that the other one does and you can rotate like the cannon here, you can rotate it. It has some elevation, probably not as much as the Ultimate version, but it does have elevation there. You've got the front missile launcher which you can turn to the left and the right and then you've got these Gatling guns which you can turn to the left and the right as well. Now I will say that the weapons don't look quite as detailed on this one, especially these Gatling guns here. They don't look quite as detailed as the ones that came on the Ultimate version. Otherwise though, look wise, paint wise, everything, this is very similar to, to the Ultimate version. Not Maybe not quite as detailed in some areas, but the Ultimate version honestly didn't have a whole lot of paint detail. They definitely reduced the, the paint applications on, on both of these from what we saw back during Toy Fair. And then like with the Ultimate version, you've got the bullets here that feed into the Gatling gun. Now these don't actually go into the gun itself. You can remove the gun if you want to, it just pops out. 
and you can see the bullets actually go into the actual vehicle. Now you can remove the bullets. The bullets are made with just a rubber tape material, so you can pull them out of the little hole here on the hood of the car, but you can't remove them from this end of the car. So we'll zoom up a little bit on it, and you can see the front. You can turn the wheels manually with your hand. The front wheels do turn left and right. And then a feature that the Ultimate version doesn't have, and honestly, I'm not sure this really adds much, but these front bumper pieces, you can actually are down and you can actually put up. So you can't, these don't actually move on the Ultimate version. And again, I'm not really sure what the point of that is supposed to be, but that is listed as an actual feature that you can move these little flaps here on the front. Now another thing I noticed on this one that's not on the Ultimate version is it looks like they've included a little figure peg here so that you can stand a figure. Now I don't know if anybody actually stands on the back of the Batmobile in the movie like that. We see them standing on the side, but I don't know if they're going to be standing on the back. But they have given you a place to actually stand a figure on the back there. And so, you know, you can roll the Batmobile without your figure falling over. It would have been kind of cool if maybe they had included a peg down here on these little floorboards here. But as it is, they did put the one on the back. And then on the back, again, less detail as far as any kind of paint applications. In fact, this thing basically has no paint applications at all. It's just that kind of gray plastic. The Ultimate version, like I said before, isn't, isn't chalk with tons of paint applications, but it does have a little bit more than this version. You do have the decals that look like are painted on there. This red one here, and this blue one here, and the no step and such. So you do have that, and you've got the gold tips on the missiles here, which is the same with the Ultimate version. And you also have the gold tips here on the front with these missiles. And then they've got the, you've got the headlights, which don't work on this version. They don't light up or anything, but you do have, have them on there they're just the these main headlights are painted white and then these down here are painted a goldish yellow type color now the canopy opens like with the ultimate version however the plastic on the canopy feels like a lighter plastic more a little more flimsy of plastic and then also it's not really you can't really remove the canopy on this one on the ultimate version you can actually take the canopy off but with this one at least not easily it doesn't look like they made it so you could actually remove it now it does come back the hatch opens up farther back on this version than on the ultimate version but again it doesn't seem like they made it so you could actually remove the canopy piece on this one now the detailing on the inside is very similar there's less paint applications but you still get the little uh, throttle and the joystick and then you've got the steering wheel which actually moves so not quite as much detail as far as paint in there but the overall sculpting detail is pretty much the same between the two versions and then you've just got the one seat in there and while the wheels are just plastic it still manages to roll pretty good so no problem with the wheels moving on it so this thing measures, if you count to the tip of the wings back here, to the tip of the missile launcher here in the front, it is just under 21 inches in length. And then the width on this is about uh, between 12 and a half and 13 inches. And the height on this is at its highest point, which is probably back here, is going to be just a little bit under six inches, it looks like. Here's a look at the Justice League Multiverse Batman. This is the Walmart exclusive version with the Batmobile. And the scale between these seems to be fairly decent. Again, I would say the scale between the vehicle and the figures with this one is actually a little more in keeping with what we see in the movie than the Ultimate version. The Ultimate version does look a little big next to the figures. Here is the Mattel Multiverse Tech Suit Justice League movie figure next to the Batmobile. Here's the Mayfex Dawn of Justice Batman figure next to the Multiverse Batmobile. For one more, here's a look at the Mezco 112 Collective Dawn of Justice Batman figure next to the Multiverse Batmobile. Here's a look at the Multiverse Walmart exclusive Justice League Batman in the Multiverse Batmobile. And I believe there's actually a little more space in the cockpit of this version over the Ultimate one. So you should definitely be able to get all the 6-inch figures that you're able to get in the Ultimate version in this version with no problem. Here's the Mezco 112 Collective Dawn of Justice Batman figure in the cockpit. And you can see you can close the canopy without any issue. The Mafex Dawn of Justice Batman figure again fits in the cockpit with no issue. And again, you can close the canopy with no issue. And then when it comes to figures with rubber tape capes like this Multiverse Dawn of Justice 
Batman figure. You can actually get this in the cockpit. It's not easy, but because you have a little more space than with the Ultimate one, the Ultimate one, I really wasn't able to get one in there. You might really, if you really worked at it, be able to get one in the Ultimate version, but it's a little easier with this one because you've got a little more room. Again, it, I wouldn't call it easy overall and won't fit in there perfectly, but you can see I did get it in there and can't actually get the canopy closed even with it in there. So I would probably recommend that you stick with figures with the soft goods cape overall, but if you wanted to try and get like an Icons or a Multiverse comic book figure or something like that with a rubber cape, you can actually probably make it work. Okay, and here's a comparison between the Multiverse Batmobile with the Ultimate Batmobile, and you can see the size difference between the two. The Ultimate version is definitely bigger, though I would again say that the Multiverse one is probably in better scale with the 6-inch figures, whereas the 6-inch figures look a little small next to the Ultimate version. The detail is definitely a little bit nicer on the Ultimate version, but overall, I don't think there's a huge difference between the look between the two. Also, here's a comparison with the DC Collectibles Batman the Animated Series 6-inch scale Batmobile. Okay, so that's my review. So overall, I would say if I had to pick between this Multiverse $60 version or the $250 Ultimate version, I would go with this $60 version. While it's not quite as detailed and obviously doesn't have all the electronics and everything or even the extra figure, I do think this is a little better scale for 6 inch figures. The cockpit is a little more roomy. It's lighter, easier to handle. And unless you're just a really big fan of remote control cars or something, again, I think this one is actually better. It's going to fit better on your shelf and it's going to work better with your figures and everything than the more expensive version. So this is available now at places like Amazon.com. We'll have a full image gallery up at ToyNewsEye.com. There'll be a link in the video description below. As always, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. Also, please hit that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. I'll have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time, guys, I will catch you later.